The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda. The hunt finally over. Some payback for America for the World Trade Center attacks almost a decade ago. Osama bin Laden had been tracked down to a hideout in Pakistan, repeatedly shot and his body taken away, reportedly dropped in the sea. For many, the reaction was triumphant. The man was gone, would al-Qaeda itself collapse? Since the death of uh, Osama bin Laden five years ago, uh, we've seen al-Qaeda weaken in, uh, in the lethality and thoroughness of the operations. And also their financial muscle is known and said to have immensely decreased. But it's certainly not broken. Egyptian Ayman al-Zawari took over the leadership, and in the past five years, Africa has been a frequent target. To the east, its affiliate al-Shabaab has launched repeated attacks in Somalia and in Kenya. To the west, al-Qaeda has launched deadly attacks in Burkina Faso, Mali and Cote d'Ivoire. But it's not the only jihadist group determined to claim Africa. From a foothold in Libya, ISIL has hit targets in neighboring Tunisia and Egypt. Nigeria's Boko Haram has pledged allegiance to ISIL. Even some Somali jihadists have dumped al-Qaeda in favor of ISIL. They are all affiliating to the new kid in the block who has the money to finance them if African forces will fight the, the current brand of terror. I asked them to study ISIS so deeply, how they are operating, how they are doing it, and anticipate these problems or these kind of attacks and operations to come to their regions. Al-Qaeda remains a deadly force. But five years on, bin Laden's movement is facing its biggest challenge, possibly bigger even than the death of the man himself. Robert Nagela, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.